Ah yes, beautiful day outside, cool, crisp, 55 degrees, and I am heading to a little park hopping at Walt Disney World. It's not overcast today, which is nice. The sun's out, but it is nice and cool. A perfect weather day here in Central Florida. As the recording of this, it is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. Little afternoon, it's 12.45. Life for Westbound looking smooth. A lot of things closed and or closing in the parks. And that's what I'm gonna concentrate on. I'm gonna do a lot of walking today. Now I'm gonna park at Transportation Ticket Center, TTC, but instead of taking the monorail or the boat over, I'm gonna walk around Seven Seas Lagoon to Magic Kingdom and then from there, I'll figure out where I'm going. Usually during the end of the each year, you know, December and Christmas time, anything that can be open, unless a ride is getting a complete makeover and overhaul, is open in the parks. And January is completely different. They start to, you know, perform some maintenance on some of the stuff. So I'm gonna pinpoint some of that and just kind of enjoy the day. Scar 420. So I will not be taking tram. I'll be hoofing it. See how many steps I can get into that. Kind of curious step count will be. That is a beautiful thing right there. 53 degrees. It's only going to get to 55 by 4 and the temperature is going to drop. Oh yeah. You're an annual pass holder and you don't have any plans for the day and you're this close to the parks and the weather is this good. You owe it to yourself to pop in and the crowds are pretty light. Welcome everyone. Adam is the woo here. And as always, I'm inviting you to join me. My head is between two rows of trees. It looks, look at this. Hidden Mickey or Marty Moose. I think I'm more like a moose. Join me. Shall you? Popcorn down. We got some popcorn down. Just follow the arrows. Not to the popcorn, but to the park. If you are a coaster aficionado or a Skyliner lover, this is not the week or two you want to be in town because a couple of the coasters are down and I believe the Skyliner is down for like a week. Routine maintenance. Well, I think routine maintenance all of them. Skyliner routine maintenance. Big Thunder, I'm not too sure about. And Rock and Roller Coaster, I think that's gonna be down for a while, like months, maybe? Now, I mentioned this before, but I love being a Walt Disney World annual pass holder, being so, I love it. It's like a dream. Now, if you ask me in July, when it is sort of sweating profusely from every pore of my body, I might have a different opinion. I'm loving this weather. But look at Mickey here, Mickey's with the flag in the middle. Kind of limp there. And yeah, Mickey's kind of limp, but between those double Ds. Heavy metal, Mickey. I think I need to start saying that with a deeper voice, like a more metal voice. Something Sepultura, or is this Sepultra? I never knew how to pronounce that band name, would be proud of. Heavy metal, Mickey. Or maybe Testament. I'm gonna walk through the Poly, Polynesian Village. And if the path will allow me, I'll go over to Grand Floridian, and then from Grand Floridian, over to Magic Kingdom. Lots happening around these parts. Please pardon our pixie dust. In the parks and at the resorts. Stopped into the Polynesian Resort coffee area. Captain Cook's to be more technical. Gonna get the resort blend here. Now as stated, sometimes, normally, there's a walking path over here, but the construction might deter that. So I can't go this way because of the construction over there at the new DVC towers. And then the walk, oh, uh, okay. So they have thwarted my plan of walking around Seven Seas. It's impossible to do at this juncture. Walkway to Grand Floridian closed. No one is allowed, no guests allowed beyond this point. Okay, fail. From this angle, however, there's a really good view. You got the little volcano there at the Poly Pool, but you can also see the Contemporary Resort over this. 
Maybe I'll take a boat across seven seas from here. Oh, dang, take a look at this. It's paused from 11.30 to 2 p.m. today. All watercraft service to and from the Poly will be paused from this moment. All right, I just asked a cast member and they said the walking trail should be open. I just take the one stop over. Oh, getting a little wave there from the front. So just take this one stop over to Grand. I could just take it right to Magic Kingdom, but I feel like walking a little bit. So I'm gonna do the one stop and then walk from Grand Floridian to MK. shop at Grand Floridian. I'm noticing some new merchandise. It's almost like the four-part park hopper type of merch that I haven't seen. This is like new for 2024. I really like it. I really like the, the style of, of this merch. We got all four parks there. Last time I was in here, the gingerbread house was up and the Christmas tree was up. The holidays are now a thing of the past. Not in any rush. No real agenda today. So, taking the scenic route. I love this weather. Got the no swimming please. I showed the castle, but also the boat's going across. I guess they started running again since the last time I saw that sign over at the Poly. Space Mountain. Man, I messed up. Space Mountain. That's better. I started saying Space Mountain that way because it's based on the opening day here at Walt Disney World of that attraction, Space Mountain. They had Mickey out there. They did a whole fireworks presentation. It was like a whole big to-do. Mickey came out and goes, I now present Space Mountain. And it sounded, honestly, nothing like Mickey. So that's kind of why I always say it that way. That's, that's where I got, that's where I got the whole Space Mountain from. Magic Kingdom Walkway is open from one hour before park opening to one hour after park closing. I'm gonna add in the fact that I feel really good today. Maybe it's the weather, maybe it's the fact that I'm just walking around Seven Seas Lagoon, but I think it has something to do with the fact that I built that home gym, which I mentioned the other day, the last day or two, been kind of hitting the weights, hitting the treadmill. My stress level, is, since I've done that, just in a couple days, I've noticed a difference. Weird how that works. Again, just just a freaking perfect day out here. I don't want to keep reiterating the obvious, but does not get much better than this. Weather-wise, attitude-wise, monorail viewing-wise. Can't tell if anyone's waving from up there, but in my mind they are. Oh yeah, saw somebody wave. In my mind, they were waving. Ah, it's a thing of beauty right there. Also, down this little canal is where they store the nighttime water pageant parade floats. Right over there. Right here, across the bridge, the walkway to Magic Kingdom. And this whole bridge shifts to let those barges out at night. Now this walkway used to not exist till a couple years ago. You used to not be able to walk from over there to Magic Kingdom. But now you can, I am thankful for that. Now if they would just, you know, do something like that from Contemporary to Transportation Ticket Center, because you cannot do a full walking loop. Well, maybe one day they'll rectify that. One thing on my agenda when I get into the park over here is Frontierland. Frontierland is really kind of turned turned sideways right now because they are working on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which used to be Splash Mountain. So that is down. Big Thunder is down. Whoa, is that a hawk or a vulture? I don't know what, I'll show that in a moment. But also Country Bears at the end of this month is getting closed down and then later in 2024, completely new songs, new characters, eliminating some characters, changing some names. Country Bears as we know it is getting flipped over on its head. So Frontierland will be something I'm gonna show. Oh, you got your wings spread out. Ooh, 
That is not a sign of kindness. Yeah, look at that. Are you like in full on attack mode? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep walking there, Vulture. I am just gonna keep what the heck? Uh yeah. Uh see ya. Oh holy crap, it's like swooping in. Is it coming after me? What the heck? Oh, okay, it's going off. I was kind of worried there for a minute. It like went off of its of its perch, off of, off of its noble perch. Started coming towards me. What the heck? It's like swooping around seven seas. It's got its eye on me. I'm gonna keep <laughs> the heck. And I have to wonder, are they gonna change the poster that's underneath the train station when they redo the attraction? The wildest show in the wilderness, which is the same land as the wildest ride in the wilderness. And Liverlips, McGraw, which is right here, his name is changing to Romeo. No more Liverlips. And unobstructed view down Main Street is back. No Christmas tree. Main Street vehicles trying to get through here. It's definitely uh, definitely very congested. But they're still out here running. Take a look at this. And as I was mentioning a little bit ago, Big Thunder Mountain is temporarily closed and you can't even walk up to where the geysers are usually projectile having the water go up. You know, they haven't worked in a while. They got these little bush things here, these little like, these little movable bushes, or movable foliage stanchions in the way. And I don't really know how long Big Thunder's gonna be down for, but right now here on Nugget Way, this is as close as you can get. And then over off in the distance, of course, Splash Mountain has been gone for a while, and Tiana should be appearing at the end of this year, at some point in 2024. See the scaffolding up there. Which is kind of interesting because in New Orleans, where the movie is based on, there aren't any mountains, so they have completely covered the top portion of it with foliage to make it appear like it's not a mountain. And since they removed the top point there, it doesn't, it doesn't really look as high as it once did. It's definitely very elevated, but it doesn't doesn't have that towering over you perspective like it used to do when it was splashed. But it's still it's still definitely a mountain. There's no there's no there's no denying that. One thing I wish they would do here at WDW is they would add the dynamite scene in like they have at Disney World. Now there is no strong rumors of that. There's no indication that will ever happen. But it would be nice. We got Hatbox Ghosts here finally. We got Hatbox goes late last year, late 2023. So I'd put it in there. I'd, I'd like to. I like to see the the, the scene where all the dynamite the explosions is happening. Come to Florida. That'd be that'd be that'd be like a game changer for this Big Thunder. And it's kind of the same setup as Disneyland. It's just you're going in reverse, like the reverse setup of Disneyland's. One of the greatest theme park ride attractions ever, ever. Oh, got the little boats there going across. Tom Sawyer's Island. Who know if who knows if Tom Sawyer's Island will continue to be a thing in five years? Will there be a Tom Sawyer's Island? Some say yes, some say no. Fact is, I have no clue. It's called Pirate's Lair in California. We still have Tom Sawyer's Island here, and we still have the Treehouse, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. We're old school here. But so uh, this whole area is still open to guests. Like anybody can wander around over here. Yep, she's some construction workers up there. So Frontier, this portion of Frontierland, the little tucked away section of Frontierland is open. And I believe you maybe the restroom facilities are opened over there, which they have opened the new pathway to Tiana. So I'm gonna walk over there too. Even though there's really, there's no attractions open over here, guests can walk through here. There's people hula hooping over here. All right, I was completely incorrect. It looks like the little walkway pathway over near the restrooms behind the side of former Splash Mountain Tiana's is not open at the moment. They have it blocked off and you go to the train station over in Frontierland at a completely different spot. So that's kind of that's kind of different. So evidently they're just like doing a lot of new stuff back over there to the walkway. So hopefully in the next few weeks, maybe that'll open back up and kind of get a peek back in there and kind of see what's going on. Again, progress happening. 
all through Frontierland. Frontierland is changing. Including this attraction, which I think within the next week or two is going to be drastically changed. Well, I think it's like 10 days, 9 or 10 days from now. A wild and woolly good time. Singing and stomping, clapping and growling will be changing. The only constant has changed, I'm sorry. Grizzly Hall, established 1893. See it up there. It's still gonna be called Grizzly Hall, hopefully. And over here in the Frontierland, Frontierland Trading Post, a pen trading store, limited edition pens. Now, I saw something online that there was a new People Mover pen, but I have not seen that since that was posted on the interwebs like a week or two ago. I have, I've been kind of looking for it, and I haven't seen it. It is limited release ones. I guess I should probably look for some Country Bear pens, but yeah, I'm not seeing any of the People Mover pens. One of these days I'm gonna get that back, so I like this pen back. All right, I was just informed, I asked a cast member, they said that the People Mover pen was sold out yesterday by five, and they don't have any out today, so evidently it's a hot commodity, and they wouldn't wouldn't tell me when the next batch was gonna be coming out, so I guess that People Mover pen is a, is a, is a toughie. Maybe I'll go over by the People Mover and see if there's like one of those ones over there. Probably not, but usually, usually a lot of those limited edition pens are here in the actual pen trading store at each park. All right, I just inquired about Country Bear pens and they said that they were all sold out. And then one really nice cast member said that he was gonna go look and see if they had any. So I am just, for now, just waiting around in here to see what happens when he comes back. But I'll showcase a few more of the limited edition pens because I really want to get my Country Bear pen fix on before all those the bad boys are gone when the ride changes. All right, just because I simply asked one of the leads over at the Frontierland Trading Post said, let me go check in the back, came back out with these, and we're like, I said, well, how much, how much are these? And he just said, oh, this is like a magic moment. So there you go. Oh, well, he was saying they were pens that are on the pen board. They're called Easter egg pens. When you ask, like, when you're doing pen trading, there are specialty ones. And just because I simply asked, so it never hurts to ask, but sometimes the cast members will give you a magic moment. I was pretty surprised when he came back out and goes, how about these? Thank you. I'm over in the Emporium now. So speaking of pens, looks like they have the four park pens here as well. So I think I'm gonna purchase one of these. And I think I'll make one of these uh, an Instagram giveaway. So if you would like one of these four park WDW pens, all you have to do is just leave a comment on my latest Instagram picture, which will be this pen, and I'll ship it out for free to anyone that wants it. No questions asked, just all you have to do is just want the pen. My Instagram handle is Adam the Woo ATW. That's Adam the Woo ATW. Check a look at this. Best vacation. Best vacation. Best remove them vacation ever. And I gotta buy one for myself also. So one for the giveaway, one for myself. It's a great day. Okay, I think from here, I'm also looking to climb aboard and hang on to the wildest ride in the wilderness. Currently down at the moment. But look how thrilling this artistic rendering is. I think I'm gonna walk over to the Contemporary and then from there, go over to TTC and then from there to Epcot and then walk back past the non, well, the, the, right now the Skyliner is down, but walk through partially through Epcot and then walk over to studios. Do a lot of walking today. It'll be a long day. These are the kind of days that really drives the point home how much I love the parks. Non-stressful, non-holidays, non-crowded, no agenda, just perfect days. No real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, but man, it is working out good today. Contemporary bound. Well, I will be boarding a monorail, similar to the one passing by. Okay, I did inquire at the pen store here, at the Contemporary, if they had any Country Bear stuff. And they said, no go. And I also asked about the People Mover pen. And they said no go on that. They said possibly Monday or Tuesday they will have a new delivery that might get put out. But it is it's hard to find that people mover pen. It really is. Monorail green. Now I cannot walk back over to Transportation Ticket Center. So the monorail is the only option to get over there. 
A lot of people, up, not a lot of people up here on the platform either at the moment. Still on a mission to find that people mover pin, so I'm gonna try in the pin trading store underneath Spaceship Earth, see if I get lucky. All right, I just inquired, and no people mover pin here either, and the cast member said that she checked the computer earlier and nowhere on property has them right now, including the big pin trading store over at Disney Springs, so no reason to go over there. And there was absolutely no sign of any Big Thunder Mountain, not Big Thunder Mountain, <laughs> what do I say? any country bears merchandise. I'm getting distracted because I'm looking at my shadow here. But then also, this epic view. But no country bear pens underneath Spaceship Earth as well. There goes. And as I was stating, in order to perform planned maintenance, all Disney Skyliners will be unavailable from the 16th to January 21st, and of course, as I'm filming this, yesterday was the 16th, today's the 17th, so it's been down for one day. Service to and from Disney, to and from Disney's Riviera Resort and Epcot Center will continue and be unavailable through January 27th. And it is a little odd not to see the momentum and hear the momentum of the Skyliner going from there. In fact, I don't even see any parked in there. I was thinking maybe they would be like up in the air right there, but they're not. So they must have taken them all off of the, the tracks. Well, not the tracks, but the steel rope up there, the steel pieces. Look, there's nothing even in the little alcove area. Or maybe they're all at the main section. I'll check when I get over to Studios, too. I'm going to walk to Studios. I'm not going to take the Friendship. I could take the Friendship boat, but I'm going to walk it. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Oh, there's a couple in there. There's like two stuck inside there. And take a look over here. They have decorated, they have adorned the floor with uh, a hidden Mickey here made out of foliage, out of leaves right here. Is that a sky? Is that the Skyliner? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, wow, he got it. That's great. <laughs> I've never seen a Skyliner out of leaves before. Olivia, you got a compliment. Oh, Olivia did it? She's Olivia over there? Did it. Yeah. She's over nice. there. She's gathering leaves. She's going to make some more? She's going to extend she the Skyliner? The, the day crew did the Mickey. Day That's crew. cool. I've seen the Mickeys before. I've never seen anyone do a Skyliner, Skyliner before. Yeah. That's great. Do you know which cabins they are? Oh, which ones they are? That's one of the clear ones with no wrap on it. <laughs> there you see? <laughs> that's Lion He's King right and that's it. Guardians right there. He's so I can tell. Right, right there, that's Rocket right there. <laughs> that's great. Have a, have a good one, guys. You too. Have a great day. <laughs> There's the friendship boats over there. Nice. Yeah, it's just so wild not seeing them go across. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk. I think I'm gonna get a second cup of coffee too. Get another cup somewhere and walk this way. So this spot up here has been under construction for a while. Doesn't look like they're making too much progress on it either. I think it used to be like an ESPN place. And they're supposed to do something with it, but it's just kind of just sitting there. Got the swan and the dolphin. Well, that's the dolphin. That's the swan. And this is the walkway to Hollywood Studio. Hollywood Studios, right underneath that road there where the bus station is. And I'll probably end up taking one of the buses to Transportation Ticket Center. But there's a little sidewalk here that runs parallel to this road. And you can get a view here of where the Skyliner turnaround is. So you got Riviera is that way, 
Then you got World Gateway to World Showcase Epcot over that way. And this is the turnaround. This is not let on or off. It just is the turning point. And you can see there are none at the station and none on the little gondola steel ropes, steel beams. Because there are alligators, snakes in the area, do not feed the wildlife. But you can get an eyeful of the friendship boats that go by. Got a little wave and a little, little bellage. Ringing the bell. That's the Friendship 6 right there. No sign of any Skyliner buckets. Pretty good view from here though too. Take a look over here at the front entrance to Hollywood Studios. Kind of silhouetted out with the sun. Soon will be setting. You see Batu, the spy, Black Spire Outpost over there too. Alright, over in the dark room pen trading store as you're walking down Hollywood Boulevard, not seeing obviously the one I've been stating to, which is the people mover pen, not seeing it in here either, but they do have a couple new ones, as well as not really perusing this area and seeing any country bears as well. So no country bears, no skyline. I figured, you know, each each park I go in, I might as well at least check. So no go on those two items, but take a look at this. These are like monorail, like oven mitts, oven something, like the monorail blue and monorail red called mouse wares. They're handle cover. Oh, they're, hand they're pot handle covers. <laughs> Beautiful. If you were on a quest for treats, this is definitely the jacket you need, or at least the sweatshirt that you need. There's also a little bucket cap too. And I stopped into the Starbucks here on the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset to get my second coffee of the day. Even this building, all the, all the facades that are here in studios are based on real LA spots. Thank you. Manuela, including this place. There is my piping hot caffeinated beverage number two of the day. I'm not drinking lattes right now. I'm just going on back into the regular coffee with just a little bit of cream and sugar. Yeah, this evening is just, like I get, I hate to keep using the word perfect, but it is just a beautiful night. And appropriately, the sun is setting over there as I'm about to walk down Sunset Boulevard, a recreation of the real sunset, a recreation of the real Hollywood. Less urine smell here. Over here in the Majestic Theater on Sunset, I really like this. This has all four parks represented on a little collared shirt here. Just loads of new merch for 2024 all scattered through here. You've got like, a, I think that's like a new Frozen line over there. And then of course also all four parks here on this and a blanket. Is a puzzle? Oh no, it's a photo album. They're really pushing the whole four-part thing, and I am here for it. Got Mickey there watering the, the garden. Make it happen. Look at this Jafar down here. Snake Charmer Jafar. I like that. Ooh, I really like that shirt. All right, I went ahead and bought it. I saw a sign at a vintage store yesterday, an antique store set, and it basically said I should have I should have bought it when I saw it, so I'm kind of following that philosophy, and I like that Jafar. I like Jafar as a villain quite a bit, one of my favorite villains. So I went ahead and bought this shirt because I feel like that's not going to last very long. Rock and Roller Coaster is not operational, but you can walk back here. It's also kind of interesting when you go down into where Rock and Roller Coaster is. Yeah, they, get, they have the music still kind of blasting through there as well, but when you're kind of like walking over towards the entrance, there's like a cast member where like kind of like you with the, the bubbles like permeating all around the area kind of like blowing the bubbles and all that, but then also having hula hoops in the area and also some cornhole. I don't know if I've ever seen cornhole in front of a closed down ride, but they got some cornhole little like station set up. And it's gonna be like this way for a while. I think this is gonna be down for quite some time. And who knows when it reopens, will Aerosmith be still be a part of it? Hmm, the rumors are out there. Who knows? All right, I am now gonna head over to the resort Port Orleans Riverside. A cast member said that she looked up on the computer and said that there was only a couple of pins left of the People Mover pin, and they are located in the gift shop called Fulton's General Store over there. So I'm gonna take a bus over to Port Orleans. Honestly, this might be the most fun I've had at the parks in a little while. I mean, I, I always have fun, but this is just, this is like, I don't know, something about today is just, I'm like just in the, in the zone. 
Now I will say, as far as the buses are concerned, you gotta have a lot of pain. It's a test in patience because it does take a while for them to arrive. Probably waited about a half hour, give or take. But yeah, it's finally here. All right, off to Port Orleans, Riverside. I haven't been there. I can't tell you the last time I went to Port Orleans, Riverside. Took the scenic route, past a lot of the cabins, and there it is. It's the front entrance to Port Orleans Riverside, and there it is. Let's see if this works out in my favor. If so, it'll definitely be uh, an addition onto a really great day. All right, into Fulton's, and I kind of feel like Donald here with the uh, with the wacky eyes, because the cast member just said, "Oh, I'm the you're the fourth person." that said that they came over because it said they had some in the system. So, you never know because sometimes the inventory is a little bit off, but they did not have any. So I kind of went on a little bit of a wild goose chase, but it was fun, it was fun nonetheless. You never know till you try. And one day, oh yes, it will be mine. So now I'm back over here at the South Depot and probably head, where should I go? Back to Epcot or back to TTC? Let's see what this shows. Does it have transportation tickets centered on here? It doesn't, but it does say Epcot. Oh my gosh, the next bus is until 7-11. Okay, next bus, Magic Kingdom, 645. That's what I'm gonna do. There's some cold drinks. Wait, is this the Magic Kingdom bus? It says the Magic Kingdom bus arrives in two minutes. Oh, this is Magic Kingdom, right here. Look at this, MK. I'm doing this, I'm gonna do this one. Oh, it's leaving. It's all part of the adventure. All right, now the next Magic Kingdom bus isn't for another 10 minutes. So evidently that was the one that left. I missed that by a minute or two, even though it was a couple minutes off of the slated time. So it's 6.47 right now. The next MK bus will be 6.57 or Epcot 7.12. Hmm. If I was going to Springs, I have to take the watercraft. Well, no, there's a bus also or watercraft. It's gonna be a Pluto bus. Just like that. Off to Magic Kingdom. I asked the bus driver if it went to Transportation Ticket Center or Magic Kingdom proper. He said Magic Kingdom, so it'd be that bus depot. Not the TTC one, but the one that's right next to the Contemporary. Between the Contemporary and the Magic Kingdom gate. It's turned into an interesting day. All right, exited off that bus. Here at Station 20. Just came from Disney Port Orleans Riverside. Now I gotta walk this way and then walk back over. Oh, look at this, the crossing of the monorails over there. Take a look. Walk back over to the Contemporary to TTC. <laughs> what a day. Love it. There goes the nighttime monorail. And the temperature has definitely dropped just a little bit. Nether regions of the monorail. Boom! The crossing of the underbelly of red monorails. I put a lot. Oh, he just gave me a little honkage. Nice. I think I'm going to treat myself to maybe a lemonade inside the Contempo Cafe if they have that. I think when I get home tonight, I'm going to watch Aladdin. The Robin Williams one, not the Will Smith one, even though I heard that one slaps. Because I did buy the shirt with Jafar on it. Now I'm in the mood. I always love that movie. I haven't seen it in a few years. Love it. In fact, I don't know if I've seen, seen it since Robin passed. But I think it's time. I'm also curious to see how many steps I've gotten in today from getting out of my car earlier. We'll probably not be hitting the treadmill tonight. I don't think it's going to be necessary at all. All right, no go on the lemonade. They did have a freestyle machine, but as I'm looking at the Mary Blair 
mural here. I went ahead and went with the vitamin water, orange vitamin water with zero calories, zero sugar. It's called Rise Orange. Yeah, this will be good. Can be hydrated a little bit. Hello up there, five-legged goat. Hey, he button hooked me. I didn't know he was gonna button hook me. The old man comes home. Monorail Green. Ooh, I like it. That's the monorail I just got off of, the Resort Loop monorail. But check out how it's Monorail Green, but the underbelly is also green. Nice touch. Ooh, vibrating. Yeah, temperature dropped just a little bit. It's 48 right now. 7.46 p.m. We do have two sides, Heroes and Villains. And once again, you guys are on the Villain side. We have a speed limit of 15 miles per hour. That is a slow 1.5, not a fast 9.5 for my Lady McQueen fans. Life is a highway. Our parking lot is not, so please stand for that 15 miles per hour. <laughs> That's a good one. Not a bad little stroll of park hopping today. 22,152 steps. All right, back home in the corridor of Goons. Right here with all my pen boards. Got a couple new pens. Got that one there. And then down here, got a few more to add to the old Country Bears area. Only had two Country Bears so far, but now I got a few more to add into the equation. Thanks to the very kind cast member over at the Frontierland Pen Store. Was not expecting that. I had a magic moment. Definitely makes out for the wild goose chase that I had going over trying to find that people mover pen. Pretty dang awesome. You know, I should have probably bought a Jafar pen to go with my go with my other Aladdin pens. I only have a couple of Aladdins. Now I got a few country bears. I'll try to continue that as well. Well, that's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is... Yeah, again, I haven't watched... I don't think I've watched this movie. I, I know I haven't since Robin passed. So I think it's time. One of my all-time favorites. I haven't seen Mrs. Doubtfire since he passed away either. Maybe, maybe I'll watch that at some point soon. The vlog is over.